Hi guys, so in this video I wanted to show you how you can create flows right from your cell phone. I have a flow app installed on it and this is basically what happens when you open the app for the first time, you're asked to sign in, provide your username and password, and this is the landing page that you get. Uh, so from here, what we're gonna do is cr uh, click flows, right, right here on the bottom. And uh, we have ability to create some flows from templates or create a, uh, you know, basically flow from the beginning. So I'm gonna click create flow from blank. And one of the things that I'm going to use is actually I'm going to create a flow that facilitates uh, push notifications from Planner. So if you use Microsoft Online uh, or SharePoint Online uh, Planner, you'll notice that uh, it's really great to keep track of some tasks here. And uh, here's my demo little project. You see you, can, you have your cards here. But one of the things that I've noticed is that uh, when something is assigned to you, you have no way of knowing unless you actually go and check the planner card it has been assigned. And if I have quite a lot of tasks, like you can see this, this particular plan has tons of tasks and tons of categories, and some of them are completed. Um, so it's really hard to keep track of things. So let's go ahead and uh, uh, create push notifications every time the new task is assigned to me. So I'm still on my phone, I'm gonna switch back to flow, I'm gonna search for planner, and Here's the activity that I'm going to say when a task is assigned to me, okay? That's, you know, obviously since I'm signed in, it already knows who I am. And I'm going to click next step, add an action, and I'm going to say push. So I want to create push notifications, little notifications that you get from the top of your phone, right? Um, no SMS, nothing like that, just a little push notification. So in here, I'm going to have to provide uh, one of the required fields is uh, text of, no of the notification. So I'm going to say uh, the title of the task, sure enough, uh, and then due date. That sounds pretty reasonable. Okay, so I'm going to click done. I'm going to say notify me as the name of this flow. And it's crazy, but it seems like that's all. So I'm going to click the create button here on the top and uh, the flow is created and you know a few seconds after the flow is already added so let's go ahead and uh, and see what happens when i create a new or i assign existing tasks to myself so for example this is a uh, one called view view samples and here's the title uh view all samples and there's some description here i'm not using any description but anyway um let me just quickly assign this to myself and that's it so now that i've assigned it to myself I should see a notification coming up in a few seconds uh, from Flow. And sure enough, here's something coming up from Flow and it says here that view all samples due. It doesn't say what is the due date uh, because I haven't specified the due date for this, uh, for this task, but if I had a due date, um, it would have uh, specified the due date. So as you can see, this took no time at all. Not only this took time, no time at all, I can actually do it on transit, right? So I can, or on my way to work, um, I can basically create flow. And because of these templates here in the flow, I can, I can use any of the uh, components. I can use Twilio to send SMS messages. Um, I can use, you know, notifications to email, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. In this case, I just wanted to use a simple push notifications on my phone. Uh, but it's pretty powerful, and the fact that you can create it while mobile uh, makes it even more powerful. So if you like this sample, subscribe or comment on the video, and I'll create tons of more interesting samples like this.